Hi, so far we land uh, open item clearing and today I'm going to try and you on the vendor uh, which is the accounts payable which is relating to the this is relating to the business process which is relating to a vendor so uh, we learned just a normal open item clearing for the full payment so in this session we are going to learn uh, for our vendor uh, which is having uh, open items uh, how to do the partial payment and also uh, the residual payment so the first in the first video I just show you on how to uh, uh, post a, a partial payment and then how to make a, a full payment and how the system will show the information uh, which is relating to this uh, partial payment uh, for a vendor so here let's go to the line item data so to go to the line item data I go to the uh, FK you see here in the in the in this screen if you want to see the transactions you can click on the transaction you can see the system then you can put the system details and and in our case I'm going to see only the transaction code so um, here is the um, the transaction so you can see there is a debit posting which is uh, we made a payment to a vendor 1000 which is showing here debit and here is the credit which you invoice we have posted and the other one uh, is a credit posting also so I'm going to see a cumulative balance so I just double click on the cumulative balance yeah now the system will show the total uh, cumulative balance for this uh, uh, vendor so after choosing our um, line items then I'm going to choose the variant what we have created so here this is the uh, by default uh, it's, a, it's a created uh, the variant so now you can see this is showing as a cleared and this one these two actually the system is showing as a not cleared okay so now let's say this vendor come back to you and say hey um, this time I'm I cannot make a full payment uh, uh, for this invoice which is having 5,000 and uh, I'm going to make uh, maybe uh, 2,000 can you please adjust um, the uh, reminding into into uh, the, the next invoice so they can it can be done on um, this way or um, let's say now the vendor coming back to you and say okay this invoice I'm going to pay instead of 1000 uh, I'm, I'm only paying um, uh, 1100 I'm I would like to pay only thousand for this invoice so let's say uh, since the vendors is uh, sorry this is we are paying to the vendor so not the vendor paying us sorry about that and um, this is how uh, uh, let's say we making a payment so to 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 post the payment transaction you just need to go f-53 so I'm going to close uh, other screens which is not relevant for me yeah it closed So the another screen is opened uh, to make a payment uh, you can go to accounting uh, financial accounting and then uh, you go to accounts payable uh, document entry then uh, you can go to the outgoing payment so here the post f-53 so in this case actually this invoice um, uh, let's say I would like to add a new field under my layout so here actually the assignment showing as a vendor account actually the correct known is actually this is the account number yeah so I'm going to add a few more details since company code we are already having here I don't think so we need a company code but if you still need yes you can still add it okay 
so now I would like to add discount due date symbol a discount amount so let's say I would like to add a few more details here and uh, let me just look and Net due date. So actually, in the in the earlier session, yes, I never show the net due date. So let me show you that due net and net due date. So the net due date is coming here. Uh, yeah, if you want to know the offsetting account, uh, yes, you can still pull this information, and uh, which will be useful as well. So after that, click OK. So you can see this is the net due date is calculated. In my earlier session, yes, I should pull, uh, I should have pulled this field. Maybe you will know how this net due date is calculated. So this net due date is calculated and uh, you can see this is 2nd of uh, January is the baseline date which is calculated from the document date. Yeah. So from the document date it is copied to here and uh, it is added and another 45 days and then it is given you the net due date. So, based on the net due date, which is on 16th of February, yeah, this is already overdue, yeah, because we are executing on on the, on the report date is a different date. So, I would like to just uh, optimize. Um, so, here you can see there is a small gaps, right? So, if you want to just adjust uh, all these gaps, uh, you can you can go to the variant, and uh, from the display you have different tabs and you go to the display and then optimize the width so if you select this option and click OK then the system automatically adjust all these fields so you can see you have a little bit more space yeah and it's a optimized uh, layout option and I would always recommend uh, to whenever you are changing uh, layout uh, I always uh, use this option optimize my column because um, usually it will take a more space uh, as per the standard but I don't want and uh, my variant always uh, should optimize and to make it available in in the display screen all the fields so uh, how I, I choose here so in this case uh, yeah you can see this is the net due date so the net due date is is calculated this uh, plus uh, uh, yeah another uh, 45 uh, days yeah so if you add uh, maybe another 30 days and then uh, it becomes a uh, 16th February is the net due date so based on this net due date it's already overdue you know so there is no discount uh, unless if you make a payment uh, a bit earlier so let us say for this case in the Feb uh, this is a, a baseline date is 2nd February so I would like to uh, make an incoming outgoing payment for this is uh, let's say I put on the uh, maybe 13th 13th of January so uh, when we put 13th of January so let's see how 13 0 1 so this is same account so here usually I don't know the amount so I just put one later I will adjust how much the amount I'm clearing yeah so here if uh, I will come to the special GL topic later yeah so I don't want to touch this part now so if you want to know the invoice number yes here I always go none and I always choose all the open items for this a uh, vendor so let's say if you would like to go you know the amount then you just use the amount 
you know the document number you know the posting date so the system automatically choose uh, the the open items based on the criteria yeah so here um, I use none and if we have more items I would always uh, recommend so let's say if you go others and process then then the system will show uh, what are the options available for clearing so I just use others yeah I forgot to enter the value date so I will enter 01 2020 since I choose others let's see what are the options available and then the system will show uh, what are the clearing options so apart from all these you have reference you have collective invoice and the document and business area tax code branch rule. so you can you can choose um, the 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 what what are the options you would like to choose. So in our case, um, I just uh, um, go go with the let's say the reference. So in the in our case, what is the reference? So let's say here, I don't think so. We have a reference, and uh, I would like to go with the assignment. Since our assignment is same as a vendor a code. Uh, we don't see the assignment here uh, yeah okay so there should be I just exit yeah so when you click enter you can see the vendor here so this is the vendor code these are all the options available so here where you can see the assignment yeah so when you see the assignment click process and then I would like to enter the assignment number so this is my assignment so I would like to clear based on my assignment so now the system should be able to choose the open items of these two so let's see So process open items So it is showing both the open items. So you can see here. So we have chosen the first invoice, which is it's it's already um, uh, is playing only three days in advance. Okay, three days is already in areas. Yeah. So based on the calculation, which is uh, thirteen, uh, which is showing as three days in areas so you can see so 13 uh, um, plus uh, uh, the date what we are posting which is uh, 14 yeah so there's no cash discount is available here so I selected this now I click on the wall oh yeah so we are doing partial payment sorry about that and here for this partial payment you need to go to the this different button So now I'm going to enter the partial payment amount 1000 okay so this is the amount the vendor we are paying because we don't have that much amount in our cash or, or, or in our bank so we are paying this amount so I enter this amount if you double click here if you are making full amount and if you if you double click here it will select this uh, what is the total outstanding amount and if you double click again what you have entered before coming into the screen for the bank line it will be copied so my case I'm just entering 1000 okay so now click overview then here I go a double click and then I just enter so I enter star then the system automatically so here tr01 uh, what is our business area we created um, let's see uh, what is my business area uh, 
yes trb1 uh, trb1 is my business area click enter then the, the system won't show anything uh, error or anything and uh, partial payment made to vendor okay so this is a partial payment then again click overview and document and simulate so let's see how the system is going to post this posting so you can see it's posting a credit line 1000 and then there is a debit line sorry credit line 1000 there is a debit line for the vendor so now click on save and then I will go back to my open items here so I need to save the layout what I have done changes So click OK. This is my default layout for every time. Huh? Yes, click yes. So now we have done uh, a payment and uh, we saved the layout so I just let's say if you have done some postings you don't need to go back every time you can just um, uh, one minute just go list refresh then the system will update automatically what is the postings so now you see uh, how the system is going to show you the partial payment transaction it's taking uh, for a while uh, to refresh yeah you see list being generated and, and it's trying to generate a, a new list uh, with a new line items whatever is updated uh, when we did the posting here yeah you can see here now this is a KZ document it is still showing as an open item yeah so if you see this amount is actually a 1000 yeah so I would like to see the amounts here so I save the layout again because I drag it and uh, I, I don't want to drag and see my amounts so you can see now and uh, in the case of partial payments even the payment document and also the invoice document is showing as uh, open items so unless until you make a full payment then the system will not do clearing the invoice because okay so what the system is what system is doing in this invoice document so let us go and uh, in detail invoice document what information stored in the invoice document in the invoice document by right there won't be any references will be shown okay so 
this invoice will shown as a reference to a payment document and the payment document will not show in the invoice so let's say now you go into this payment document which is KZ yeah so when you double click here and this invoice will be shown you can see here so this document on 2020 the line item number one is considered for partial payment which is so now again uh, I'm making another let's say a 50 euro to the same invoice so let's see how the system is going to show the information here so when I make a payment another 50 euro maybe on the next day which is 14th of January yeah 14th is a Valentine's Day huh? 2020 so here 1401 2020 so I say partial payment 2 yeah because uh, we made a second payment so I know now the amount is 50 euro and uh, 1401 2020 when the vendor is uh, this uh, yeah since I showed these options I'm not going to uh, detail here it will is taking some time so yeah so let's go directly so the first time we made a payment now again we are making another 50 this is also a partial payment so I'm still going into the partial payment so this time against this is actually I am paying another 50 so the first one this is a payment document you see this is a positive value and another one is invoice document which is this one and so it is showing as 1050 yeah when I double click here because I entered okay what I did I entered an amount which is 50 so it is a, a 1000 here so the total partial payment is made is 1050 So when I double click here you can double click and you can see the 50 so if you double click again it's showing as total amount as a partial payment but in our case this is not the total amount so we are getting some unassigned amount so by right this there should not be any unassigned when you are doing any clearing so you double click here and now document I would like to simulate directly because I don't want it to you see now how the posting will be shown so what the system is showing here is it is taking out a 1000 and it creating a another line for additional including this amount plus another 50 what you are doing with this invoice okay so it's totally uh, it will clear this let's see by posting this document so it you can see this is a credit entry which is 50 and there will be another uh, debit entry 1050 and again there is a credit going into the same vendor with 1000 yeah so now click save so after posting the system will generate an another document if you are making another partial 
for the same invoice then the system keep clearing what is the previous partial amount with the current uh, clear current um, uh, the payment which will consolidate to 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 uh, to you know accumulate mm, the the you know the payment amount against that particular invoice because you cannot create every time uh, each open item that doesn't make sense for the system and it will take a huge lot of resources from the database point of view and, and the system point of view so the system is uh, SAP system is too, too smart to, to get uh, 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 summarized values uh, here so let's uh, let's go so now what is going to happen here let's see yeah so click again list refresh okay you can see now what happened this 1000 the system automatically cleared if you see when you making additional amount then the system is clearing this amount and and it is creating another line since you are making a partial payment and when you double click on this it will show still the same you see the same invoice but now this is a different amount so this is a, how the system automatically clear the previous uh, the payment amount and uh, then it will create an another line which is a cumulative balance of uh, current payment amount with the previous uh, payment amount this will be the full amount which will show here in the document so now we did two partial payments so let's say now we are making a full payment okay so now let's see how the system going to do so again the 15th he came back and he said he make a full payment another 50 15 01 20 20 so this is a full settlement under reference I'm giving yeah so this is a 50 I'm making so which is 15 0 1 20 20 the same vendor and click on process press enter so now I select these two I don't need to go to the partial payment anymore because it's it's already zero when I select these two items yeah so I don't need to go again the partial and 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 even I go partial here yes it will show this is a full amount here yeah and it is going to clear this so now since it's correctly selected these two invoices one is an invoice document another one is a partial payment document so now you can see not assigned is zero here and here is a 50 is a, uh, entered amount and assigned is also 50 because uh, this is the amount which when you see here and uh, this is 1050 and uh, this is 101100 1, 1, so the 50 is a uh, remaining so now just uh, overview document simulate so now you can see 1050 will be reversed and then the clearing item uh, is 1100 okay so 
now we are not doing any partial so this is a full settlement so the system is automatically going to clear now so click on save so once the system uh, posted this document I'm going to refresh and show the line items for the vendor how the system is going to show you now yeah sometimes um, it's taking a bit time Yes, so now it's it's uh, created the document and uh, now I'm going to refresh uh, the BL3N for a vendor. So let's see now. I don't need to go back and execute if I refresh then the system automatically show this information. So now, by right, all that uh, full NY should be cleared. You see? So the only one open item which is showing is this, and all the remaining is cleared. See? This is how it's clear. So all this is the baseline date, and, 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 and you see the clearing date maybe I should bring the clearing date and the uh, clearing year also here so I would like to save this as well because I want the clearing date also uh, not at the last it should be near to me near to the the same display layout So now I will show uh, a little um, uh, the the advantage um, using this uh, layout. So now let's say you want to see net by summarized by net due date. So you can you can select this net due date and by right the sum should be the sigma here so if you don't have this you see we don't have any summarization here so this is grayed out the Sigma by Sigma so now you just need to select this uh, layout and click Sigma then the totals will be shown so now if you don't want any total just sort it so now only the totals will be shown um, uh, at the, at the uh, consolidated level here so now you want to summarize the open items or cleared items and document type so now the first selection is this and control and the second selection is this now you just click on Sigma by Sigma here so now you can see so the cleared items summarized by document type KR and the cleared items summarized by KZ and open item summarized by the document so now you want uh, 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 vice versa so you don't you want first the selection is this and the other selection is this so how this can be done you just remove all this criteria now you just select the KR first and then open or clear item first so now you just double click on this so you can see the difference so it is showing by a document type and also the open item so now you want to see the summarization level you can have as many summarizations you want yeah so this is really helpful so you want to see the summarization levels you can go here settings summarization level yeah and define breakdown and then 
you can see so zero means it will show the line items you can see each line so the cleared because my first selection is the document type and this is the highest level and the second dais is my uh, 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 the cleared or cleared uh, or open item and then the third one is the line item so now i want to see by the the cleared or open item so you can see now so this is a, a small advantage and in my previous session i showed you that's how to do this but now we have more line item to show a clear example yeah uh, thank you for watching my videos yeah this is about a partial uh, payment process uh, uh, in the case of uh, a vendor payments thank you